Picture this. You've arrived at your favorite park, summit, or ice cream stand that you're going to operate ham radio at. And all of a sudden, you put your spike into the ground, boom, and you put your mast over it only after unscrewing this cap here. Things get really good. You make a ton of radio contacts, and you realize the ice cream store is about to close in about four minutes. So you quickly pack up. But somewhere along the way, you lost this. You lost just like that. You lost the cap. Now your little dude or whatever mast you chose, it's going to be kind of sad. And so today I'm going to show you two quick ways to maybe have a solution to fix all of this. It involves 550 cord, an S binder, S beaner, and of course a little loop. Now the thing about this, at least with my mast, other ones might be different. is I'm capable of unscrewing this without having to take that part off. So now I'll never really actually lose that cap, especially if you have locking s beaners, just like I don't. And maybe you just don't want to do this wrap configuration. You could probably find some heat shrink. I would caution you to be very careful on your mast using a heat gun for heat shrink and just a little loop of a 550 cord. It would look something like this. If you're curious about the dipole, this Wago dipole was made in a recent live stream, but I have a loop here, so the same concept could apply to your mast. So with that, let's go ahead and just try to build this out with some 550 cord. I went over to Hobby Lobby or Michaels or whatever store your wife likes, and I got some 550 cord. It was Ace Hardware. Guys, I swear it was Ace Hardware. So anyway, we're going to get, for today's example, to have about this much. We're going to get about 7 feet, but of course you could wrap more if you want to. 7 feet of 550 cord, and we're going to cut it. The thing that really is awesome about 550 cord, but could also suck, is the fine strands inside. If we were to pull this right now, they would come out. So the first thing we want to do is grab a lighter. And I'm just going to clean those ends off a little bit more. And I'm going to take this lighter and caution you because this is hot and you'll burn yourself. We're just going to go ahead and take those ends and put a little bit of heat to them. And we could actually see the 550 cord or the nylon melding together. It's great. Same thing with the other end. Now we got to find our mast. I just happen to have another little dude right here. And this was the cap for it. We're gonna put a basic whipping knot on here. And so I took that seven feet of 550 cord. I might refer to it as cable or wire. And I'm going to loop a small section, which I'm going to place toward the bottom of my mast or where I basically want the wrap to go. That looks pretty good for now. I'm thinking that we'll have it right about there. Now I'm holding both the open end and the long end with my thumb against the mast as I loop that first long end around the mast and I try to keep it really tight. But also while I'm doing this, you're gonna see here as I turn it around, I did a crossover and I don't want that. I wanna make sure that they're all really nice together. And so here I am, I'm trying to keep it tight again, trying to keep it tight, making sure I don't do a crossover. And we're getting toward what we might consider the end, right? There's still a little loop in there. We need to use that loop to tighten the whipping knot. So we're going to take that open end, the long end that we've been working with, the working end, and we're going to put it through the loop. Now this could get tricky. But what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to pull on the end that we started with being open on the top. And as we pull it, this gets really tight. Now, this is where I'll tell you, I'll be wrong to tell you this, but I'm going to cut the bottom open end and I'm going to cut it close. 
to the actual, if you will, knot that was formed. Then I'm going to take a lighter and carefully hit the 550 cord or the nylon with the lighter. That will melt some of the nylon so that basically the 550 cord can't really move around too much. It has somewhere to adhere to. And then cautioning ourselves again to ensure we don't really burn the mask. Now, believe it or not, I think I managed to do that without burning my mast. Now that we have this whipping knot, let's go ahead and make some kind of bowline knot on this open end. It's about nine inches at the moment, and I'm going to leave it at that length. And what I'm going to do is about halfway up the knot or so, I'm just going to make a loop. As you can see here, the loop, and then I have an open end, which I'm going to bring under the loop and then through the loop. But now I'm also gonna take that open end and I'm gonna go under the piece that's in between the whipping nut and the loop, under it, and then I'm gonna go through that loop again. And as you can see, it looks like a little Led Zeppelin symbol. I'm just gonna add some tension to it. Did I do it right? I don't know. But does this work and is it efficient? Let's see. Let's go ahead and cut this little piece here. And as you can see, yeah, I cut it, but I'm going to hit that with a lighter so it doesn't really go anywhere. If you ever look at my lighters, you might see that. And this is exactly why. See, you don't want to burn yourself, but... You could always use the lighter to kind of like squish it a little bit so that loop is not going to come apart. Now, all we got to do is attach the S beaner. Now, you're probably asking, well, like, why didn't I just put this through here to start? And if I ever do need to remove it, the S beaner is a good latch, if you will. I would recommend getting lockable S beaners, but all you have to do at this point is take the S beaner. Clip it in, clip in, your bottom cap, and now you could unscrew this, and not lose it. Plus also, I don't know how I would feel about carrying my mast with this end facing down. But in a pinch, if you ever needed to clamp this onto something or snap it onto something, you now have a little hook here as well. Cautioning yourself with the amount of weight that this may be able to withhold. Hey, thanks for watching the channel, everybody. I hope you enjoyed this. But more importantly, I hope this gave you ideas on how you might be able to secure some of your gear in the field, whether it's a mast or something else. Bye.